Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefana and today I'm gonna to be doing this no foundation makeup look. If you wanna see how I got it, keep on watching. So we're gonna start off with color correcting our under eyes. My skincare has been really good lately and I haven't had too much bags under my eyes, but I know a lot of people do and to correct that is using a concealer that has like a more rosy or coral undertone. But all I do is pat that underneath my eyes. Just like that. And then you can just use your finger and rub it in. Um, rub it in. That or like a beauty sponge. This also helps to brighten the under eyes too while color correcting. I know a lot of people that I do their makeup and they tell me they don't wear foundation or uh, they don't wear liquid foundation, they mostly wear powder foundation. I've never been a powder foundation kind of person, but I can understand that liquid is a little intense and uh, liquid foundation is a little bit intense in the fact that what do you do after you put it on, does it look too cakey, and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to show you how to do an effortless makeup look without using foundation. Now I'm going to take the Becca uh, Shimmer Skin Perfector. I got this at Sephora and I'm just going to put that on the highest points of my face. I just put a heck of a lot on, but that's okay. I know for me, like in the summertime, I want to look really glowy and radiant. And doesn't everyone, I mean, the sun's out. You just want to have that fresh glow. And then I go in with my beauty blender and press that into the skin even more. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and go underneath the eyes. Now because we're not using foundation, um, I still like to use concealer and bronzer. So I just put some concealer under my eyes, on my nose, my forehead, my chin, and around my lips. Now I'm just going to blend it out. Dampen your beauty blender, don't forget. I definitely used to be a person that hated the way their skin looked without foundation, but it's all about skincare. If you're taking care of your skin and you're washing your face at the end of the night and you know, you're making sure your skin is the best it can be, you're not going to feel as uncomfortable without makeup on. I do still like to put concealer on even when um, I'm not wearing any makeup just because I like to brighten that under eye and it doesn't make my eyes look so droopy. And then I go over that, I take the concealer that's left on the sponge and go over my eyes with it. Cause it's like priming your eyes for the color that we're about to put on. Now I'm going to take the Soleil Tan de Chanel. Now I'm going to dip my Real Technique sponge in the Chanel bronzer. And I'm going to go on my forehead, my cheekbones and underneath the jawline. I really like the way this stuff applies. It's just really subtle and natural and it kind of gives you that sun-kissed glow that I really like. It kind of just like melts into the skin. I just love the way it looks. I also take the bronzer and put it on the tops of my eyelids. I didn't use any foundation, yet my skin looks pretty flawless, just with some concealer and some um, cream bronzer. You can use any cream bronzer you want. This is just happens to be one of my favorite ones. If you're looking for drugstore cream bronzers, the NYX um, bronzer stick is really good in like suntan or something like that. That one's really good and it's very inexpensive. So. Uh, Good dupe for the, if you don't want to splurge and spend the money on a Chanel bronzer. Now I'm going to set everything because you always have to set your creams with a powder. Set my under eyes, I'm going to take the Ambient Light Palette by Hourglass and it came with three, it comes with three different colors. 
and I think the first one is called Radiant Light, and that's the one I'm gonna take. Just put it on a powder brush and just set it underneath the eyes. The goal is to look glowy and fresh, and basically like you have no makeup on at all, even though you do. <laughs> Okay, now to set the bronzer. One of my favorite bronzers to use in the summertime is the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess. It kind of has a little bit of sheen to it, which I really like, and it goes really well with, uh, with the Chanel bronzer. I don't know about you, but I just love to look really glowy and bronzed in the summertime, and I'm from Michigan. The weather hasn't been so great, and now that the weather is like in the 80s, I just want to go all out. <laughs> now on to blush. I'm going to take Eternal Sun by Makeup Geek. Now on to highlighter. Now I already put a base of cream highlighter on underneath, but you can never go wrong with more highlighter. So I'm going to take the Glow Kit by Anastasia. And then I like to mix um, Sunburst and dripping in gold together. I'm gonna look like you can see me from outer space. <laughs> what are some of your guys' favorite highlighters? I know my favorite kit is the Glow Kit, but I do love the Becca individual highlighters are like one of my all time favorite highlighters. But let me know what your guys' favorite highlighters are in the comments below. So now it's on to the eyes. I'm going to take first, I'm gonna take Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek on a Sigma E40 brush and just put that in the crease. Now I'm gonna take Frappe by Makeup Geek on the same brush and go in windshield wiper motions on the eyelid. In the crease, not the eyelid. I do like to take sometimes a little bit of Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. I love this color. I love to put this color just all over the lid and smoke it out, it's such a cool look. And then I'm just gonna take this angled brush and just kind of go to the outside of that lid. I'm also gonna take that color and put it underneath my lash line too. And then I'm just gonna go in with the fluffy brush from before, no extra product on it and make sure it's all blended together. Now we're gonna take a shimmer and throw it on the lid. So in my Ipsy bag, I got the Urban Decay After Glow 8 Hour Powder Highlight. It looks like this. It's pretty. Oh yeah, that's super pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna, um, with my finger, pat that in there and put it on my lid. Oh, I like that. Throw on some mascara. I'm gonna throw on my lip color and then I will be right back. Okay, so here's the finished makeup look. I hope you liked getting ready with me today on this no foundation makeup look, effortless, glowy, and summertime makeup look. I hope you guys give it a like and hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.